Okay, we got Dwayne back in the back. Thank you very much, Dwayne Walker, longtime HBCU advocate and storyteller. So I've been covering this HBCU sports way back since the 90s, since the days of black college sports today with Sam. And as far as I'm concerned, with both of these storied institutions, this is the single greatest, biggest event in HBCU football history, in my opinion, that, that's ever been. And I want to find out if you guys agree with that opinion. <laughs> well, um, I, I'm not the historian, um, so I, I can't say that it's the biggest game in the history of, a, of HBCUs because of, of the rich history that we that we do all share. Um, you, know, you, you talk about the, the teams of Jake Gaither's era. Uh, you think back to the the, the the University of Tampa game. You know when Jake took our team down to Tampa, and it was the first time that an HBCU took on a, a PWI in the South, and, and, and we won that game. Uh, you talk about the 1978 national championship game, the very first one AA national championship that Florida and them won. Uh, those are two monumental moments because of the crossover, right? Now, when you're talking about the staying within black college, um, you know, it may be right up there with it. Uh, but I, as I tell my team, this is the biggest game that we've ever played in. It's the most important game that we've ever played in. It's the biggest game that I've ever coached in my 18-year coaching career. Uh, but it's because it's the next one we get to play. And so we're excited about this opportunity. Uh, we'll allow the media, the historians, and everyone else to tell the story of how big this game is, how significant this game is, when it's all said and done. But uh, I, I, I'm cautious to get our team caught up in that because it does take away from what's most important. And that's our preparation on being 1-0 and one more time this season. And uh, our guys have done a great job of blocking out all the outside distractions. Um, we're in Atlanta. We have a lot of guys on our team from Atlanta. Uh, so there will be enough distractions trying to keep them in their hotel rooms uh, from from Wednesday to Saturday. Um, so we don't want to get into the the, the, the historic <laughs> complexity of this game. Uh, we're just going to try to live in the moment. In the moment, as Coach Scott said, be where our feet are and uh, prepare to play our best game of the season. The coach uh, left out that left out that win over Florida, over over Miami. Oh, as yeah. you can find on YouTube, it's one of his earliest <laughs> broadcasts. Um, so if you haven't checked it out, check that out. Yeah, I, I would echo a lot of the same things you just heard Coach Simmons say, I think, um, at Howard. Uh, for us, it's about establishing a lot of new traditions, right, uh, that, that are circled and built around the idea that we can play football at a very high level and we can also perform in the classroom at a high level. Two things can be true at the same time. Uh, and nothing can box us in. Nothing can do that anymore to us. So that's what, for us, is, it is new. It is refreshing, right? It is a, um, the idea and notion that um, I can excel in the classroom, uh, but I can also excel in the football field, and I can play in the National Football League, and I can do all the things uh, that people have always tried to label us or put us in the box, or either one or the other. Uh, and that's not true at all. Uh, and we want to make sure we bring that to life at Howard every day. And our daily approach, just not you know on Saturdays, but on Monday. Learn how to process that out. Develop routines. Be very good in routines and don't get bored with the basics. And I think um, at the end of the day, that's what it's about for us. You know, just establishing what it is to have a bison wall, uh, to establish us lean in on what it means to we're a part of a, a fan base. We have to build a fan base. We have to understand what that is. Yes, yeah, winning, what that's all about. Yeah, it has a lot to do with it, but also just leaning in and being able to, like Coach Simmons said, you know, the local media, the inside media, tell the stories of what's happening on a daily basis on the Hill. Uh, it's something that's important to us, and we've kind of leaned into the whole notion of that. Uh, and, you know, we want to make those two teams that have won national championships at Howard, you know, uh, proud, 93 and 96. So um, and here we are 30, almost 30 years later, uh, back at this moment to continue a new tradition, a new way of doing things, which means, uh, which I think is very exciting for our brand, who we are as we move forward with a new president, a new administration, uh, and all those things. So I'm excited for what we're doing at Howard because I think it's new, it's refreshing, and we're rebuilding the whole mind mindset. Thank you.